Warning, Up Late App State is a student-run program not reflecting the opinions of App State University. All the topics in the show are purely for comedic purposes and should not be taken seriously. Don't hate us, laugh at us. You ready? Yeah, um, so you're saying this, like, you yeah, know. Hey, y'all, I'm Taylor Ann. <clears throat> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm still getting used to this uh, new student-run academic lifestyle. I'm, it's a little overwhelming for a small-town guy like me. Um, what, was, what was my line? And this is Morgan, and you're watching Uplay App State. <sighs> Let's get ready for a Boomtown Rundown. Spring break came to a frigid close this past week as hungover app students Return to Boone for six mm -hmm. inches of snow and below freezing weather. Mm, yeah, that's a pretty crappy way to end break. Speaking of, how was your break? You get lit? Oh, yeah, I got <laughs> uh -huh, lit. Yeah. I went on a cruise to the Bahamas, drank lots of rum, mm -hmm. got a tan on the beach, and got my hair braided into cornrows. Dang. Yeah, I took them out, though, because when I got back to Boone, I'd yeah. be cultural appropriation if yeah. I kept them outside of the Caribbean. <laughs> What about you? Did you do anything uh, for spring break? Yeah, I actually went to, to Miami Beach. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. How was it? Oh, it was, it was great. Uh, I couldn't stay anywhere because I couldn't afford it, so I just uh, drove down, snagged the picture of the gram, and then hashtag living my best life. So. Truly. Anyway, in recent news, popular ice cream franchise Ben & Jerry's have announced plans to place a scoop shop in Boone, meaning lots of fully baked college students will be filling up on half-baked mm -hmm. ice cream. Yes. We can expect to see lines out the door of people wearing Grateful Dead shirts, though we'll actually see how many of them actually know who Jerry Garcia is. <laughs> In other food news, McDonald's has announced that their entire menu is vegan. McDonald's spokesperson Hamuel Burglar has come forward claiming that this is not a new development and that they have not been serving anything legally considered meat or dairy for decades. Actual fact, McDonald's milkshakes aren't even made with milk. Wow. This announcement comes following a legal victory for McDonald's as genetically modified chickens found at their processing plants are no longer technically considered alive. Mm. When reached for comments on the ethical viability of this business decision, Mr. Burglar argued that market research and profit margins have proven that American public is in fact loving it. In local news, Boone police are seeking assistance to find a couple of nefarious thieves stealing from Walmart what we can only presume were red solo cups and jewel pods. Witnesses in the area refused to comment on the whereabouts of the criminals, but suggested that the bus stop right outside would be a good place to check. And even more local news, the Christian Arts and Crafts Organization Hobby Lobby is coming to Boone. Religious art students everywhere have rejoiced at the opportunity to get their supplies at a place that isn't Michael's. When asked why they wouldn't shop in Michael's, they simply stated, because Michael's is the devil. Here to comment on the incoming Hobby Lobby, the devil of Michael's himself, Mulsiber. Oh, hey man, uh, welcome to the the show. Hey guys, <laughs> thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. By the way, I'm not the devil, it's my boss. Oh, okay. But uh, I'm actually the senior regional demonic manager of all the Michaels in the North Carolina area. Okay. So does Michaels have um, like a program specifically geared towards hiring the mm. damned? Well, there is a management structure in place geared specifically towards persons of the underworld. So to answer your question, yes. Our main focus is the arts and witchcraft department, but we also oversee the seasonal section around Halloween. Oh, and the embroidery. <laughs> Interesting. So how do you feel about Hobby Lobby making its entrance to Boone? Honestly, we're all for it. Okay. We're always down for a little friendly competition between Ooh. the d divine and the dam. It keeps us on our hooves. Uh, there's nothing like holy war to get us prepared for back to school season. Speaking of which, didn't you say you have a specific event that you want to plug? Uh, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, for the month of April, 10% of the proceeds of the department will be going towards endangering species. Huh. I love helping the endangered species. No, oh, no. Endangering. Habitat loss, climate change, invasive species, hmm. all that bad stuff. Our department's goal is to see Burmese pythons roaming the flooded streets of Boone in the next fiscal year. Oh, like an actual nightmare. Well, Mulsiber, thank you for your time. 
Glad to be here. Now I guess I'll be off to go hand cigarettes to children. Well, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, he did. I still can't shop at Michael's, though. It's way too expensive. Now, we students here at App State are all too familiar with the emergency siren system that has never been used for an actual emergency. But not many people are aware that the siren we love to ignore for two minutes every month is actually manually operated. Here to give us the behind the scenes of the emergency siren system, siren operator Gref Hamsley. Thank you, Terry Ann. I'm very happy to be here. We're very glad to have you two. Now you're here to talk about your job with the school's emergency department. What exactly do you do there? Well, I have a number of responsibilities, but it's mostly cranking that siren y'all hear. I'm sorry, Gref, uh, but do you think there's any way you could lower your voice? You see, Terran, my job is to crank that big old siren. I just, I just go up there and crank it when the school tells me to. Gref, the, the mic is on your shirt. You don't have to shout. <laughs> Oh no, was I shouting? <laughs> the thing does a real number on the whole eardrums. I just go up there and then crank it and go Wee! And it really messes with the big old hearing. Thank you, Graf. I think we get the point. So how much of a notice does the university give you before one of these tests? Well, they just give me a call and I roll out of bed and crank the old thing. Oh, I didn't realize you live so close to the alarm center. <laughs> I wouldn't say close to, but the dang thing is across the room, so. I'm sorry, how far did you say? Oh, I, I don't know, about. Oh my God, Graf, that's horrible. How can you be forced to live like that? Oh, I, I love it. it. The only thing's those daggone pigeons. The pigeons? <laughs> dang things will pluck your eyes out like yolk out of hard boiled egg, and they'll just come down and swoop. Graf, you still got both your eyes. <laughs> That's because you got to just chase them. Just, just run at them and swat. Now, I I've got to ask, in the event of an emergency siren, what are students expected to do? Oh, oh, you're just wanting to get away from it. Get away? Yeah, yeah. Whenever you hear that, you just get yourself up and you move to where the siren isn't. And where should students be going? Away. Well, thank you for joining us, Graf. It's been a pleasure. Anytime! Next up, we have a special treat for you all down-home Southern cooking lovers out there. Here to promote her newest cookbook, What Do You Think You're Doing With That Spatula? Get Out of My Kitchen, we have Martha May. Welcome to the show, Martha May. Hey. Well, I'm happy to be here today. Mama, mama, mama. Who is this handsome boy we have here? I'm, I'm Morgan. You are, aren't you? Why, you are the spitting image of my second late husband, Jimothy. Am I? Oh, uh, Martha May, your cookbook? Oh, right. I'm sorry, I completely forgot. My moderate severe psoriasis has been acting up, driving my skin crazy, itching everywhere, distracting me. Let's see here. I think my cookbook is in my billfold somewhere. So where is that thing? This will come in handy for you, Taylor. Taylor Ann. Oh, my bad. Oh, well, that's where that was. Here, Morgan, you keep it. It's flu season. We don't want a handsome young whippersnapper like you getting sick. You need to stay healthy and fertile. Oh. <coughs> oh, no! Well, let me, uh. No! Let me. No! Allow me. So, what sparked the latest title of your cookbook? Well, I was cooking for my family, and my grandson kept running through the kitchen like a chicken with his head cut off. That recipe's on page 47. I kept having to yell, stop hitting your sister with your spatula. Get out of my kitchen. And then I thought, that would make a good title for a cookbook. A few minor adjustments, and bam, my cookbook was born. Oh my gosh, that's huh. great. Uh, tell us about your favorite recipe. Well, my favorite recipe is my Butterfield butter biscuits with extra butter. But I think the real crowd pleaser is uh, my butter pie. 
<laughs> oh boy, I can feel my cholesterol going up as you talk about. You should have named your cookbook How to Get Diabetes 101. <laughs> oh, that recipe is on page 27. It's my chocolate cake recipe. All right. Well, those sound awesome. Some of uh, our viewers may want to know if you have any recipes for those with dietary restrictions. I'm sorry. That what what is that? I don't speak Spanish. Di dietary restrictions like gluten free, dairy free, meat free, happiness free. No, my recipes actually taste good. Uh -oh. You know, we didn't have these problems back when Reagan was well, president. Well, I for one can't wait to get this book and try one of the recipes. What is it at the stores? Sometime this March, but I can do you one better. Why don't you come over to my place tomorrow around 4.30? Uh, I don't know. Um, I can whip you up some dinner with dessert. Uh, Martha May, I think it's time you, you leave now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Hey. Um, oh, my cataract's acting up. Let's get, oh, oh. Let's get that off. Oh. There. <sighs> don't you mean your arthritis? I know what I said, Taylor Ann. All right. Well, thank you for having me on the show. And let me know if you change your mind about dinner. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't want to track dirt in the house or something. Oh, don't you worry about making a mess. I have plastic on my furniture anyway. All right. Well. That's all the time we have for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. Find us on Facebook.com slash UpLateAppState. Thanks, Thanks for, for staying, staying UpLateAppState. Up